Hello, Madura. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and about your company, Platform9? Hey, everyone. I'm Madura Maskaski. I'm one of the co-founders and VP of product at Platform9 Systems. Um, and Platform9, for those of you who are not familiar, um, we're an enterprise startup. We were founded in 2013. Um, and we've pioneered a unique model around deployment of open source frameworks, powerful open source frameworks, such as OpenStack and Kubernetes, where we deploy them as a SaaS service. Okay, great. So um, the last time we spoke with uh, a Platform 9 was with one of your co-founders, Rupak Parikh, that back in Tokyo. Tell us what has changed uh, since that time, since a year ago. Yeah, absolutely. No, a lot has happened over the year. A startup year is equivalent to probably 5x that much in a regular time, right? But so lots of great developments and improvements both to our platform as well as our new product additions. Um, and so last time when we spoke, we didn't have Kubernetes support. Um, that's been a major enhancement addition to our product. Um, we added managed Kubernetes alongside with managed OpenStack. Um, so managed Kubernetes has some of the same benefits as managed OpenStack, which is that it's a fully managed offering. Um, so Platform 9 provides 24-7 monitoring and management and completely zero-touch updates and upgrades to Kubernetes. And that's the same value proposition we provide on OpenStack side as well, which is we manage your OpenStack infrastructure and we provide 24-7 monitoring and updates and upgrades. Um, and then since over the past year, we've also been good citizens to the open source ecosystem, which is OpenStack. And we've done a number of uh, significant contributions to the ecosystem. Um, a couple of specific ones that I'd like to mention. Um, one of them is called Project Morse, um, which is doing lease management with OpenStack. Um, and so what that does is it lets administrators define leases on virtual machines. And, um, uh, uh, and, and then enable that at different tenants. Um, so that's a project that we released. Um, another new enhancement that we did was uh, VMware style high availability for virtual machines. Um, so with that project, you can define highly available clusters of hypervisors in OpenStack, and then um, all the virtual machines on those um, hypervisors will be automatically monitored. And if a virtual machine goes down or if a server goes down, the virtual machine will be restarted on another server in that cluster, uh, and we added that. And that's not just for VMware. Right, so that's VMware style high availability, but that's for KVM, um, and we fully open sourced it. <clears throat> so it's a, it's a project available to be uh, incorporated as part of OpenStack. Okay, and uh, that was a great demo you did for the Omni project. Um, yeah. So I really appreciate you doing that. Yeah, absolutely. So Omni has been the, <clears throat> the latest addition to our set of open source contributions. Um, we announced that during the keynote yesterday. Um, and what OpenStack Omni is, is a set of drivers to integrate OpenStack with public clouds, right? So starting with Amazon AWS, that's the first set of drivers that we built um, that allows you to use OpenStack to control or manage AWS. Um, but we want to extend on that and add support for the most popular public clouds, such as Azure or GC. And we want the community to contribute to this as well. Great. Now, I'm sure it's very satisfying to see uh, your company starting to be more involved in the open source community in that way. Um, what are some of the other things you would say you've been, you found very, very satisfying as a startup founder in this OpenStack ecosystem? So what's amazing about OpenStack is that it's managed to emerge as a standard for cloud infrastructure management, definitely private, but now hybrid cloud infrastructure management as well. Um, and cloud infrastructure management is a multi-billion dollar industry, right? So there is a number of interesting problems to be solved. And so OpenStack, um, every year over year, as new releases come, there are new and interesting projects that get added um, to the OpenStack ecosystem, um, which means uh, you know, those projects are usually trying to address or tackle particular pain points or problems that customers are facing. Um, so as, as members of the OpenStack ecosystem, it means um, you know, for startups such as us, um, there's always enough, enough complex problems to be solved, right? So as long as you have the right differentiation uh, as part of your value proposition, um, I think you're in a great, great place as being a member of an OpenStack um, ecosystem. Great. And uh, what, are, what have been some of your challenges as a startup in, in this ecosystem? Right, so kind of going back to the earlier question as well, um, 
a challenge that a startup always faces is A, making sure that what you're offering is differentiated enough and the other part is building enough awareness for you, right? Because the, the bigger players in any ecosystem always have the right budget, the right marketing um, fuel to be able to uh, build that awareness. Um, and so that's always a challenge for a startup. Um, but the way we tackle that is A, having a very differentiated offering, which nobody else has. Um, so that builds a bit of groundswell, right? That helps in building the community awareness um, and the enterprise awareness. Um, and the second part is, um, trying to make as many contributions to the community back and, and building awareness around that. So that's another thing that we've started really doing over the past year or so. Great. Um, so now that you're a OpenStack startup veteran, uh, what advice would you give to someone who's thinking about uh, starting up a new company in this space? Yeah, so, um, you know, OpenStack ecosystem is growing and thriving. OpenStack is ever more relevant to enterprises today as the infrastructure management problem grows and becomes more diverse and complex because of the diversity, right? Because today you have to manage bare metal and hypervisors and containers, and OpenStack has a solution to manage all of that complexity. Um, so, um, you know, advice to new startups is always to find that right amount of differentiation in whatever it is that you're trying to solve. Um, trying to find an independent enough problem, make sure that that's a key pain point and there is a market for solving that pain point and then make sure that your story is differentiated enough compared to the other alternatives that are available today. Uh, and if you have all of that covered, then uh, I think you will have a fantastic journey. That's great advice, Mentor. Thank you for spending some time with us today. Fantastic, thank you.